head up the gathering, which you see here. I am a, uh, the head of an art form called Kosher Kyoto. That's worldwide. I have um, certification and ranking in several different arts from Indonesia, Silat, Kontao, the Filipino and Eastern Eskrima, the Tai Chi, the Bonfu, and several different things. Um, but uh, the main thing that I'm doing here is, I, like I said, I've been conducting this event for about 16 years. Uh, losing teachers. Uh, uh, all of my instructors that I've had are all deceased, and realizing that the art forms are very, very uh, fragile, that they can be lost if people don't pay attention to history. And it's the same thing that we do today in our culture. We don't pay attention to our parents and where they came from and all that. So, start of the gathering. It's a way students can share and study and meet seniors. They might not always be with us. I did a breakout session today. And, of course, I do uh, various different clinics within the thing, but um, oh, concepts of natural law and principle is the main thing that I teach. How to relate, your, uh, relate to yourself and understand how you relate to nature, especially when it comes to body motion and com combative arts. Um, <clears throat> the, the need to, to grow, study, and learn to understand that there's more to the martial arts than just a kick and a punch, that there's a rich history, to hopefully that it will enhance their mindset to where if they go out and they go to a martial arts school someplace, that they're going to seek out some of the other studies that our populace and our culture does not grasp. Uh, we're busy shunning away the things that really count. And it just kind of explain to you a little bit about some of the principles that we do. Okay. And we're fixing this slow. The guy throws a strike, he throws a strike, I'm here, I'm receiving the movement or the blow. And what I'm doing is feeling the body as he comes in. He starts coming in as a strike, there's another hit. So all my body positions and postures are related to where I don't have to take on body mass at all. But what I can do is basically destroy this guy's centers. Now, where he's at right now, he would try to get up. He tries to get up, I can flow with it this way or I can come back here. If I want to come back here like so, it means I'm going to set myself up for a strike or a hit. And there I'm going to reposition the body. Here I can throw the guy into the wall. But he doesn't like this. So from here he's going to try to retract and move again. So I can reposition my body in center. And here I'm locking his center. If he goes to move again as he does, I can reposition again thusly. Now here he's going to see an opening, which is here. I am. But what he's going to do is he's going to start looking at that opening as he does. I can follow slightly through, reposition, and now what's happened is his skeletal structure is locked up by the hand here. It looks like it's separless because it is, but yet it has a lot of effect. If I rotate the elbow up slightly, this is what takes place. That goes down. Kosheru is an art form that studies, looks magical. The objective is if you're fighting an opponent, he was a strike, is to do just that. Make him think that he's fighting a magician and make him also think that he's not fighting. He just keeps beating himself up. So as he goes to hit again, I can reposition him and say, oh, you fell into that. He goes to move again. There's another hit with the wrist. Goes to move again, I can bring the foot up, which releases and brings his body up. Collapses the clavicle. And I can so what you have is you got a lot of stuff. That's the kind of stuff I do. And there's all kinds of martial arts systems and styles here. No. No, you know what? Last year I got caught on there, and so I was funny. This year I'm not going to be funny. I'm not. <laughs> I was serious about the gum, though. <laughs> I, I'm not. You know, there's something happened here that was a little different than we had before, and I'm deadly serious about it. Anytime we come here, the one thing I absolutely love about it is the nature of family. It's something before I came here I really didn't have. But I also noticed that there is family in flux with a lot of us. So when you leave here, you might want to revisit what got you started, and who got you there, and who you really loved. And you wouldn't be here if they didn't love you. And maybe spend a little time to humble yourself. Go back to being a white belt or whatever your system has. Take the time. You owe it to yourself. Don't even think. We're not talking about your teachers. 
We're not talking about their teachers. We're talking about yourself. You owe it to yourself to go back to being the child you were when you started. Because that's when the real joy was here for you in martial arts. That is the reality of it. If you can't humble yourself enough for that, you'll never really enjoy this ride. No matter what position you have, no matter where you go. And that would be the end of it. Safe travels, everybody.